Hi everyone, welcome to Mina's Day Vlogs And today guys, in my cuisine, I will be cooking meatloaf, mashed potato, and brown gravy So, the ingredients are ready Let's start I have one medium onion Slice it like this and then chop chop finely and then one medium carrot grate the carrot with the, the biggest hole so it will look like this Next is 1 pound of ground beef For the exact measurement, 1 half cup onion And then 1 cup grated carrot 1 cup breadcrumbs 1 half cup fresh milk 3 tablespoon Worcestershire sauce 4 tablespoon of tomato ketchup 1 extra large egg beaten And for the spices, I have 1 teaspoon dried parsley 1 half teaspoon of garlic powder 1 fourth teaspoon of ground pepper and some salt to taste okay it's mixing time so in a mixing bowl I put the ground beef drop the chopped onions the grated carrots the breadcrumbs and guys I put plenty breadcrumbs because it will help in binding the beef and then the dried parsley the garlic powder the ground pepper and sea salt okay the wet ingredients tomato ketchup the beaten egg the fresh milk and the Worcestershire sauce Okay, it's mixing time We need to carefully mix it Don't smash and don't over mix You should see some chunky uh, ground beef in there There you go, it's good And then next is we prepare a bread baking pan so we put the ground beef mixture by the way guys the one pound of ground beef is just enough to fill this bread baking pan so we flatten like this and make sure it's distributed evenly and we leave it for three minutes after which we unmold and put in a non-sticky baking pan so it's baking time at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit the meatloaf is there it's cooking there you go okay while baking guys we prepare the topping sauce we need one half cup of tomato ketchup and then two teaspoon of brown sugar and 
and then one half teaspoon of red wine. We just have to mix this, combine, and it's done. Okay, and then after 50 minutes, let's check our meatloaf. Oh, there you go. It looks good. So, we brush it with the topping sauce that we just made. You just uh, brush on top. And guys, if you want a thicker uh, toppings, then you can... Uh, you can double the measurement that I just showed you. Okay, after putting the toppings, then we put back the meatloaf in the oven for 10 minutes. And so after, after 10 minutes, it's already an hour. So let's check. Oh, there you go. It look nice. It's perfect. So we let this cool down for a few minutes. And while cooling it down, we are ready for the mashed potato. So I have here guys three medium mashed three medium potato. And then you have to peel it. We get uh, different kinds of potatoes. So you can use any of those kinds. I usually uh, make the powdered mashed potato. But then, of course, you cannot beat the fresh potato especially if it's a uh, homemade Okay, almost done guys. It's time to cut the potato. Cut the potato like this and then soak in water. There you go. Very easy to make. And after cutting the potatoes, then in a high heat, we have water in a pan with some salt. And then put the chopped potatoes. Boil it. Okay, there it's starting to boil and after boiling You have to drain it make sure that no water And so the ingredients guys for the mashed potatoes are the boiled potato and then four tablespoon of melted unsalted butter One third cup of fresh milk and some pepper and salt. So let's make the mashed potato. Of course, we have to mash it. And then you have to mix 
mix and then mash again. You need to be to be very patient guys if you want a smooth and very fine mashed potato and then it's time to put some melted butter after that mix again add some more butter And then some fresh milk. Mix it and then add some add some more until you reach the consistency and smoothness that you want. Okay, I'm making it sure that there are no chunky chunky potatoes. Okay, after that, you can add the ground pepper and salt. And you can make your own recipe for mashed potato. You can add some bacon finely chopped bacon you can add that okay guys I think it's almost ready Okay, it's done. It looks yummy. Next is we will make the brown gravy. Okay, guys, uh, in a medium heat, we pour the one pack brown gravy powder mixed in a one and a half cup of water. So it will look like this but you need to keep on stirring stirring until it becomes thick very easy almost done there you go and so guys presenting my homemade meatloaf mashed potato and brown gravy so i think the meatloaf is ready for slicing let's see okay looks good so this is our dinner guys meatloaf plus the mashed potato no need for rice
Okay, this is my homemade meatloaf. Perfect. There you go. Look inside. And so guys, this is the brown gravy and then my mashed potato. And then you can sprinkle some dried parsley or like uh, what I uh, said, you can put some bacon. And then put the meatloaf on top. There you go. Oh, one more. And then you put the you put the gravy on top. This is a complete meal already. So guys, if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. You can share it and I appreciate if you put some good comments. So guys, why not try this one? It's easy to make. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.